Well, today I'm over here, right on the North Suffolk borders with Norfolk, outside a property called the Glebe at Mellis. Stunning house, stunning position. Set back from the common. You've got this large pond at the front, and the whole property is set in a, nearly two and a half acres, 2.35 to be exact. And it's a really good quality timber framed house. One of the unusual things about the house is uh, it's 20 foot wide, which is instantly a sign of quality. You can see a little bit of scaffolding on the side. Uh, they've just had a new apprentice board put up, so the scaffolding is coming down. Should have been down several weeks ago, but things are all a little bit delayed at the moment. The grounds here are beautiful. You've got formal areas, you've got paddocks, you've got ponds, mature trees, everything you could want in a position that is only, well, what are we, four miles, five miles from this. So you've got a mainline station there to London Liverpool Street in 90 minutes. You set back from the common, well away from everybody else. And then you've got these ponds with a bridge leading over and there's the back of the house that old saying location 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 so i can take you around this side as well quite a bit to see outside and once we've gone outside i will give you the guided tour around the inside of the house as well great thing here is the different pockets of garden there's little bits you keep finding as you walk around. Fruit trees, including this one, which I think, I may stand to be corrected, but I think this may well be a quince. Through the back here, a lovely productive vegetable garden. You've got the box part here at the end as well. All hidden behind a horn beam hedge. Through the gate, we have this wooded copse. And just so you get your bearings, hopefully you can see the back of the house there we're just the other side of the pond at the moment. And then, yet more ground. This area beyond, you've got a good composting area, and then you've got all these fruit trees. You can be pretty much self-sufficient in here. Perfectly enclosed. And we can walk around the edge of the beach hedge or hornbeam. Other side of that was the vegetable garden that I said. So I'm taking on a circular tour. Around the grounds, gateway back into there, into the back garden. Driveway here, which leads up to double garage. And then the gate at the side brings us back round to the house where you have this wonderful rose covered walkway. A lovely garden. And this is, uh, springtime is uh, absolutely stunning. Bulbs everywhere. And you've got a great patio here as well. Great place to sit, enjoy the garden, enjoy the wildlife. 
and pick a few figs off the tree as you go along. So the next place I can take you to, I'll take you a quick tour inside the barn. Right, we're now at the barn. And this is lovely. This is detached from the house. Um, entertaining room, overspill guests, work from home, granny annex, teenage flat. You name it, it could be whatever you need it to be. And it is lovely. It's got real character to it. Got the wood burner there as well. And then at the end, there's a shower room. Shower behind me here. So it really has got the things that you want. I mean, if you're going to work from home, what better place could you be? Great views out into the garden as well. And just a stone's throw from the house. Okay, let's take you inside. Right, let's go inside. So, we go through the back. We're straight away into the big kitchen breakfast area. And you can really see the quality of the house. It's got these lovely limed oak ceiling timbers. And there is so much space. 12 inch pallet tile floor, those big pallets, and you've got the Rayburn there, set off against the uh, units there with the granite worktop with butler sink inset. So down to this end, here we've got uh, utility pantry, More good covered space. You've got the wood worktop in this one. You've got this lovely oak panelling at the side as well. Good deep cupboard. Hide everything in there. And then round the side, we've got the cloakroom. All well fitted out. Then from here we go into the hallway. And again you see the quality of the timber work. To the side, this internal window divides the hall from the dining room. Lovely big open fireplace with the wood burner inset there. Really good quality timbers on display. Carries a good sized table you can get in here. A really good entertaining room. Further down, here we come to the sitting room. What the unusual thing about this house is um, the width, 20 foot wide which is very unusual for a timber framed house. Shows the quality. Again, it's a lovely big room. So much character. On the end, we have the conservatory. You can't see out of the windows just at the moment because they've just had some work done on the apprentice board above, some scaffolding around. But the views out into the garden really are they're lovely. It's a great room, this as well. So, let's take you upstairs, give you a view of the first floor. So, back into the front. There is a front door. But like most houses, little used. We've got this lovely winding staircase with a steel handrail. Takes up into first bedroom with that vaulted ceiling. Big four poster bed in there. Gives you some idea of the scale. 
Got great views from the front here. Looking out across his immediate garden and uh, further on is the common. A big fireplace. Got a cupboard to the side there. Then we have the ensuite. Let's find the light. There we are. Illumination. So an ensuite shower. Basin, vanity pieces there. Toilet. And rather funky towel rail. Finishes it off. Go back along the landing. You've got plenty of space here. Into the second room. Beautiful refilled floorboards. Timber work as well, including this little mullion window. And this room, I mean, has the benefit of looking down into the garden there. There's about two, 2.35 acres. Check the rooms as we come along. So a bathroom, tile shower enclosure, toilet there, basin and bath with another shower attachment over. And you see this lovely panelling they've got. The old pine panelling just beneath the sink there. Now the decent sized room. It's got a single in here, but could easily be a double. You've got two big wardrobes in here and lots of other furniture. Leaded light just down there. A little store cupboard to that side. And the final bedroom is here. Could be home office, but actually outside there is more space uh, where we don't need uh, the home office inside because there's a good building outside for that. So that's the property. It's the Glebe, set back from the common at Mellis. On the market with us, if you want to view, give us a call on 01-379-641-341 or send an email to us, which is prop at twgaze.co.uk.